I'm going to Lake Tahoe today. We are in the middle of wildfires, so I'm not quite sure what I will see there. Maybe just a lot of smoke, who knows. But we will see when we get there. The eagle has landed. Goodbye, Carson City. Now I'm questioning if I made a good decision to visit Lake Tahoe today. Maybe we will not see anything. Well, as they say, if life gives you lemons, make a lemonade. So, in my case, I would just shoot my feet. And that would be it. We will see. I've been driving for some time already and there are cows everywhere. I never thought about Nevada as a cow state. You never see advertisement famous beef from Nevada or a famous cheese from Nevada. And this is aftermath of wildfire. I think Calder fire reached here. Most of the trees probably will not survive. Here the same on both sides of the road. The fire damage is extensive. It's just terrible. I love forests and it breaks my heart to see this. Left and right, everything burned. Road closed. Fire restrictions and so on. It's good that they are cutting those burnt trees down. A lot of timber here. And if they leave it standing, uh, beetles will move in and it will be another mess. So sad. But it's just devastating to see this. Fire danger, extreme today. Yes, dear, you are right. I have about 25 miles to Lake Tahoe and the road will be like this, through the mountains. Elevation 7,000 feet. National forest closed due to extreme fire danger. So here on the right side of the road was the fire and the road was the defensive line they were trying to establish. And how they did it? Uh, let's look at left. This pink stuff on the trees, on the rocks, it's a chemical that they sprayed on the trees uh, to prevent them from catching fire. Thank you all. Yeah. Firefighters did an excellent job. Thank you. Thank you. People are posting the signs thanking the firefighters because they are very grateful. And here again, thank you fire responders. Actually, I saw a sign thanking not only firefighters but police too. And the reason why is that the police protects the property. When the disaster or a disaster strikes, looters move in. U.S. is no different from any other country. Bad people always take opportunity to benefit from other people's misfortune. That's unfortunately human nature. And this is a place down called State Line. Why is it called State Line? Bear with me. I'll show you shortly. Fire information right here. Here is a lift to Heavenly Ski Resort. I don't actually know if it runs in summer or if it doesn't run now because of the fires. The gondola is closed due to severe weather. I think it really means fire. 
this place is normally buzzing during the summer. People who love water, swimming, fishing, people who love mountains, forests, it's all here. Oh, and also people who love gambling. State line, restaurant and brewery, bar open. No one's really there. This whole town was evacuated a couple of weeks ago due to fires. I don't know exactly how many people live here, but the whole area was 50, 60,000 people were evacuated. So I'm getting excited. I will be crossing from one state to another state. And that's the reason why this town is called State Line. Right now I am in California and across the street is Nevada. How do I know? Well, I would be cheating if I didn't tell you that I've been here before. But a clear sign is the casino that you see right here. You see in California there are no casinos except Indian casinos on Indian land. But Nevada is a casino state, even though they call it Silver State. Okay, so now I am in Nevada. Didn't need passport, didn't need COVID green pass, nothing like that. And I think I will return to California. But I will stop right here just for fun. I think I'm in the middle of the road and my left foot is in Nevada, my right foot is in my home state, California. So let's continue to California. I want to check the Bohemian beer garden. Oh, here is one visitor, the green man on wheels. We will be close today. No Bohemian beer garden for me. And they are hiring if you are looking for a job. Dishwasher or line or prep cook. I feel the smell of fire in the air, which is still pretty bad but on the bright side I don't think I have COVID I can smell very well grand opening but closed no jaywalking today let's follow the rules and wait for the green light here we go ski school adventure center what do they do it in Adventure Center, teach you how to have adventure. I'm just being silly. You can rent adventure stuff here or buy appropriate clothing for adventure. Ah, oh, Rocket Man has a sign here stay out of chained areas. Man and beast frozen in motion. Oh, isn't it Blues Brothers? Looks like it. I kind of think that it's misplaced here. This is... Oh, anyway. Okay, what is this? Another row of shops. On Tahoe. Time, locally inspired keepsakes. Okay. Beachside gifts. Beanies and bikinis. Oh. I don't think anyone is shopping for bikinis nowadays. Well, today, this month, next month.
Pacific Crest Gallery find our furniture and gifts. Uh, gifts maybe, but furniture? Why would anyone come on vacation and buy furniture? Beats me. And activity zone. Doesn't seem very active today. But in normal times, boat rentals, jet ski, parasailing, Dixie Cruise, Safari Rose Cruise, Luxury Condo, Magic Show, ATV. Okay, so that's what the activity in this context means. So, it's time to hit the road, but we haven't seen the lake itself yet. I can hardly contain myself from excitement. So cool, cross the border at least four times today. So goodbye California, welcome to Nevada in zero seconds they say. Okay, let's go. Tahoe strong, yeah, Tahoe survived, good. So I wanted to show you Lake Tahoe, Nevada Beach. And it's closed. Due to extreme danger of fires. Well, no such luck. I don't want to say authorities are against me because this is not their fault. They are just trying to keep silly people safe. There is actually a road loop around the whole lake, maybe 50 miles, something like that. But I will not be driving around the lake today due to visibility. The near distance visibility is excellent. I can see my toes in excellent detail, but the long distance visibility is, um, I don't want to really say what it is, because I want to be a good YouTube citizen and follow the community guidelines. Even though my videos are not for children, I still don't want to say the effort. That's what the long distance visibility is, the effort. And here on the left is the famous Lake Tahoe. I'm kidding you not. It is there. Maybe we will get a better view along the way. Just give me a couple more miles and I will try again. And here are some of the homes that were saved by firefighters. Owners should really bow to firefighters when they meet them on the street. So here it is, Lake Tahoe. Use your imagination, maybe you will see something. But right now I have to pass through the tunnel. Very short one, mind you, but I still need to get through. A fine Nevada tunnel. And a Lake Tahoe on the left. And the state line runs roughly through, well, not through the middle, but runs through the lake. So part of the lake belongs to Nevada, bigger part to California. Fair enough, California is bigger than Nevada, about 10 times in population. So more Californians come than folks from Nevada. So goodbye Lake Tahoe. It was nice to see you even 
although I couldn't see much of you, but it still was nice. So maybe this is the end of the trip, I don't know. If I see something interesting, I will turn on the camera, but if I don't, then this is goodbye of this video or the end of this video. This is goodbye. See you next time. Spooner Summit, elevation 7100 and something. So far, nothing that interesting. Maybe just a little red car ahead of me, expensive Italian car, Ferrari, if I can see correctly. Probably old one like an antique to me but still Ferrari you can show off in front of your neighbors and colleagues okay so maybe this will be the end of the video nothing much to talk about talking about a rich guy in expensive Italian sports car boring so thanks for watching see you next time goodbye